Uh, hi, uh, Anthony. This is uh, this is Tony. There is this discussion among people that Prince Edward Island is having higher rate of cancer than the rest the rest of Canada, and it may link to use of uh, pesticides and herbicides in their monoculture of uh, potato farming that everybody does. Uh, I have spoken with some people, and they seem to uh, more or less agree that there is a case for concern. Now, what I can you tell us whether whether glyphosate may have a direct link with higher cancer and if so can something be done about testing and testing the people to see whether they have what do you think uh yes uh, it can it can have a direct link with cancer and many other diseases uh, including uh ms parkinson's increases in asthma uh uh, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, a number of uh, chronic illnesses risen uh, over the past decades. Uh, back in June, uh, Maureen Kerr contacted me uh, and alerted me to the fact that uh, that uh, she felt that that uh, there was a high incidence of uh, cancer Edward Island. Um, uh, she even capital of uh, Canada. Uh, they have over 100,000 acres of potato fields, and uh, it's basically a monoculture. Uh, and wanted to know if Roundup could affect people. I guess uh, that was after my first study was released, uh, my first paper was released, and uh, she mentioned. And uh, I told her all of the different pesticides that are used uh, in potatoes. Um, uh, besides glyphosate, is imidacloprid and chlorthalonil, which is a, a fungus. I told her that uh, we could possibly put together a program uh, to test people's urine uh, and find out if they have glyphosate circulating in their urine. I assured her that uh, if they were eating the Western diet uh, of food that's grown with glyphosate, that it would be in the urine. Uh, circulating in their bloodstream and also uh, path. It is a, a, uh, a health concern investigation. Uh, and since then, I've uh, located uh, a lab, and we're trying to uh, to work out the details uh, so that any person on Edward Island that wants to get their urine tested to see if they have glyphosate in their system, uh, if possible. I see. So how far did the experiment, did the test already start? Uh, well, uh, the test uh, began with Zen Honeycutt here in the U.S. last year. Uh, she was concerned for her own family. She contacted some of my friends in the Midwest who lined uh, her lab to have uh, her urine to have my urine tested, and uh, she put it on her website and had many more people across the U.S. Uh, not only test the urine, but also uh, nursing mothers had uh, their breast milk tested. Um, and yes, uh, many of the people that were tested uh, have uh, glyphosate uh, in their urine and also in, in mother's breast milk being fed to their children. And the children would get, in this case, glyphosate through their mother's milk even if they try to stay organic or, or away from chemical food? Uh, a, a lot of the uh, people that had their um, uh, breast milk and urine tested in the U.S., uh, uh, were eating uh, a clean diet, and um, the glyphosate didn't really show up. Uh, didn't show up in their system. Um, had an actual um, study been done, where people could have been screened as to their diet, their kind of diet, the quality of the food, then a true relationship could uh, could have been assessed. This was just uh, this was just uh, some uh, routine random testing. Uh, to get a snapshot of uh, of the possibilities and uh, possible requirement uh, to in testing in the population. I see. And uh, and uh, okay. So so uh, this uh, Zen Honeycutt uh, who got all these women to test is she from the Mothers Across America group? Yes, uh, she's the founder of Moms Across America. Oh, I see. So, in other words, uh, while you were uh, exploring the possibility of having people uh, of Prince Edward Island test their urine, you, uh, would I, uh, was, was it that you sort of got sidetracked or preoccupied with uh, an, a more urgent uh, case of this uh, Moms Across America for, for a few months? 
Uh, yeah, after after I did the interviews with uh, Moms Across America, um, I was in the middle of um, uh, writing a second paper uh, and uh, didn't have the uh, uh, lab to get back to. Zen had lined up that uh, that lab to start uh, taking a look at um, at peep volunteer and send in their urine. Uh, or breast milk uh, for a cost of a hundred dollars. So we we thought we'd wait until you know some results uh, came in, legitimate study. Oh, I see. So so you, in other words, do you feel that we are now maybe in a position to? Uh, I mean, you or uh, this 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 lab might be in a position to offer a similar service to uh, to Canadians in Prince Edward Island, where the sample has to crisscross between borders. Uh, that's what I'm trying to find out today. Uh, I'm trying to find out um, uh, if uh, we can send the uh, uh, urine analysis kits up there, uh, and if they can mail it into the United States. We 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 don't know the legalities, and we're. Uh, I'm trying to find that out. I'm waiting for a call from the lab. Um, should know shortly. That ended the conversation for today. Uh, Anthony did uh, have a parting uh, advice for the people of uh, uh, Prince Edward Island, that is to restrict the use of glyphosate in the environment. It is damaging to their health and it was damaging to their environment. So that's it for today and thanks everybody.